The ability to edit meshes is the most compelling reason to use mesh modeling. You can split and sculpt a basic mesh model into organic shapes almost unrecognizable from the original. You can edit mesh faces, edges, and vertices. In this demonstration, you see a simple mesh box primitive being manipulated into an ergonomic design for a computer mouse. When editing a mesh model, you have the option of specifying what filter should be used, thereby limiting the selection to that item. Now that the mesh edges have been selected, the move gizmo is being leveraged to dynamically modify the shape. Modifying the current boxy shape to be a more rounded and smooth shape is completed through just a couple of clicks. When you are modifying a mesh face, adjoining mesh faces may also automatically update based on the edit you make. In this example, the center ridge for the mouse wheel opening is created by using the move gizmo to move two edges of the mesh. The shape and contour of the adjoining faces automatically update as the dynamic edit occurs. Along with the ability to modify a mesh model by moving aspects in a single direction, you can also use the Scale Gizmo to adjust the size by scaling the selected aspects of the mesh. By using the Scale Gizmo and selecting geometry symmetric to the position of the gizmo, you can easily make complex edits that create a complex symmetrical shape. While a design may be predominantly a smooth shape, you may have areas where the model needs a sharp, creased edge. Specifying this type of requirement is as easy and quick as specifying the smooth shape. Now that the shape is defined for the mouse, the mesh model can be converted to a solid model in preparation for adding additional features or exporting to another Autodesk product such as Autodesk Inventor.